This Cenoite has a GLS. It's just another acronym or does it make a difference? Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and a big thing we're noticing for 2023 is automation. Now automation in cafes isn't new. It's been happening over the last few years. Same with automatic tampers. They've been around now for quite a few years, but they are evolving at quite a fast pace. And we're noticing a lot of brands not only releasing new automatic tampers, but evolving the ones they have. CenoArt has now released an undergrinder tamper, the PBT, and this is really going head to head with some of the industry leaders already in market. Production on these is just about to start. We actually got this unit flown in so our team could assess if we would range it and also so we could get it on the channel. One big differentiator with these is price. They really are coming in at a competitive price and they haven't compromised on any features. Actually, they've even improved on some features of some of the market leaders. So why do we need automatic tampers when you can get a hand tamper for a fraction of the price? And the answer is consistency. Consistency not only in the tamp pressure, but in tamping level. And that's one thing this tamper does well with what they call the GLS, the guided leveling system. And effectively what it does is there's an outer ring that pushes down on the porter filter. So while the porter filter is in the support cradle, the outer ring pushes down and secures that porter filter on the cradle and the inside tamps. So you're getting a completely level tamp and a consistent tamp based on the pressure you've set the tamper at. With this tamper, not only can you set multi-tamp, so tamping once, twice, or three times, but you can set multi-pressure. So you can tamp to say softer and then each tamp get harder, or tamp harder and get softer. Now there isn't any scientific studies that have proven that going soft and hard or hard and soft or consistent across all the tamps make a difference. But when we played around with this tamper, we noticed that going from soft to harder, let the tamp compact better, distributing the coffee better, getting less channeling, especially if the grinder had gone a little clumpy. Now these two grinders are new grinders and top of their game, but not necessarily the grinder you may have on top of these. The burrs may be getting old, they, they may be getting a bit hot, you may be getting clumpiness, and that's where going from soft to hard could make a difference. But once again, it hasn't been scientifically proven. But I'm keen to know, let me know in the comments below if you have seen any scientific tests on this, because I'd like to know further, rather than just our gut feel that we've done playing around in our workshop. Now with this Ceno Art, there are cool little features. They may be small, but when you put them all together, it does make it for quite a neat unit. One little feature is the viewing angle of the screen. You can move it all the way back or quite a bit forward. And what that does is it really allows you to be able to see that screen from whatever angle you're working. Think of a short barista versus a tall barista. With the porter filter support, it's got the tiniest of features, which really makes a nice difference. It's actually got a spring hiding behind the screw. What that means is as you loosen it, you still got tension in the screw and you can move that cradle slightly to really adjust your porter filter support, tighten it back up, and you can do that easily with just two hands. Some of the other tampers on the market, although you can do it, it becomes clunky to try and hold it up, hold your porter filter, tighten it, they move around. Having that tension just really does help making the workflow easier if you are adjusting, just say adjusting between porter filters or you need to adjust for whatever reason. Now, even if you adjust it a bit crooked, because you do have the GLS, the guided leveling system, it does self-level itself out, which is kind of neat. And if you've watched this channel for a while, you know I really like proper cable management. I do like the seamless look of counters and the ability to control where the cable is going through. And the Cenoite has done that really neatly. There's a channel behind the Cenoite that lets the cable from the grinder travel neatly through the unit and then it can keep going straight through the base and through your counter. So for that completely seamless design, or it's got two little cutouts at the back where you can put the cable not only of the grinder but of the Ceno art out and control where you want it to go. For me, it's a simple thing, but cable management really is nice. It really does come and give that aesthetic to finish off your cafe fit out. And lastly, 
the smallest of features, but while you're tamping, the light goes red. And when you're finishing tamping, the light goes back to white. And this gives you that visual cue that you've done tamping. It's simple, but in a busy cafe where you're moving things around, sometimes visual cues, just like shot timers on coffee machines, really do make a difference. This tamper comes in two versions, the MY version, which is this one, which has a touch screen and fits not only the Mythos 1, but the Mythos 2, and an Anthem SCOTI 2, and this Anthem, the Anthem SP2. So it fits those four machines. And there is the FI version, which has the older screen from the PT2, so not the nice touch screen shown here, and it fits the F64 and F83 Fiorenzato grinders. I'm curious to know though, what are your thoughts on automatic tampers and cafes using these products? Yay or nay? I feel like there's two camps to this. People that really want the traditional old school and people that want consistency and automation. So let me know in the comments below which school you belong to. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.